ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to another episode of Building with Beatups. We are far, far away from the village today. Well, we're just outside of it. I found this little spot over here. I saw this little hill and I thought, this is the perfect place for something. We'll get to that in a second. This guy, do you have mangrove a sapling? No, no mangrove sapling. I've been waiting to check him. Luckily he sur- Ooh, ooh, careful. Luckily he survived. Uh, we're going to make a really cool thing today. I've already got the build kind of planned and I think with some of the shapes that we're working on here for this build, I think it's going to be a masterpiece. I have the majority of the materials collected, but there are some very important other materials we're going to have to get. Oh, my beauty horse. So over on this hill, what I want to make is a witch's hut. I think it's the perfect spot for it. All of our stuff is over here in the village. And I've been trying to think what's going to be a good way to get a brewing place and some, some of that other stuff in. So I think a nice hut, kind of tuck some trees in here. Nice hut right there will be really good. But there's some things I need to do. So the primary purpose of this building is going to be to have a place to do all my brewing. So I got a brew stand here and I have one more blaze rod. <laughs> I need a bunch more blaze rods because I need quite a few of those. Uh, but I also need the blaze rods to then fuel this. I don't have much. Ultimately though, I need a lot of blaze rods for ender pearls. Ender pearls to get me to the stronghold so I can get to the end so I can get shulker boxes and wings. I'm gearing up all the way. I hate the nether, especially, I mean, the way my nether is laid out. Do I have any backup tools? Basically, I don't really need the great tools in the nether. I just want to be able to survive. All oh, right, splash potion. Eight minutes of fire resist. Okay, we're in better shape. I think we're going to be perfectly fine. Don't worry about old beat ups. I'll be fine. Okay, we're here. We're here. Wonderful. Okay, I just need a little bit of. There's a villager here. <laughs> oh no. Oh man, I hate this place. Flame and fiery passion. Oh. Not today. Yes. Okay. All right. Got to watch out for those guys. I think this is, of course, yeah, this is my way down. Okay, we made it. We're on the stronghold. Just had to dodge some some strange stuff. Okay, there we go. I need blaze rods and ideally one wither skull. Oh, that's a lot of wither skeletons up there. Okay. Okay, let's work our way over. I got 15 blaze rods. I'm amazing. Ooh, somebody's shooting from behind. I got a wither skull. I did it. I did it. I am a, I am a Minecraft man. Who shoot? I'm dominating down here. I'm dominating. And you're out of here. Yes. Okay. We got what we need. We got the withers go. Ooh, that's bad in there. Never mind. Never mind. Never mind. Never mind. I'm withered. Okay. Okay. We bounce. We bounce. Don't get greedy. We're fine. I flame off. I flame. All right. We're out of here. We got everything we need and then some. Well, not in then some, but uh, that was a good trip. As long as I can get past these piglins up here, I'm good. All right, little hossy, let's go for a ride. So the important thing with this build, when we're making something like a witch hut, you the most important thing, well, for me, <laughs> is going to be that it has a feel that when you see it from a distance when you walk into it you feel something now any any normal house you know sometimes especially with village houses and stuff you just want a place for people to walk into that kind of looks nice but with significant builds like this you got to really concentrate on the feel and the way you do that is by thinking about what you would want to see when you walk in that area i have no idea what that means i just thought it sounded cool well, it kind of makes sense, doesn't it? <laughs> like, you just think, okay, if I'm walking into, I'm in a village, and I'm walking into a witch's hut, or a wizard, or something, what's it feel like? 
And when you're thinking about that, you're probably pulling from reference of things that you've seen in the past. I think Sea of Thieves have some has some really cool uh, things like that, but from movies that you've seen, there's a lot of reference out there. But as we go along on this build, uh, I'll, I'll kind of try to explain my thought process on creating that feel uh, when we get to certain areas and whatnot. But I gotta switch out for my other good tools before I start building. But before I get my shiny brand new tools, why don't we take a quick commercial break? A la Kazam and a la Capes. I am the website wizard from Squarespace. Would you like to learn a website wizarding spell? With this spell, you'll be able to create the most beautiful website with the use of Squarespace's custom templates. You'll also be able to trick your friends into thinking you're a statistics genius. With the help of Squarespace's analytical tools, you'll be able to know where your visits and sales on your website are coming from. But that's not all. You'll be able to connect your social media accounts to your website and have those posts magically pushed directly to your website. Now, for the spell, all you must do is click the link down in the description box or go to www.squarespace.com slash b00100 to get 10% off your first purchase of a website or domain. Okay, now, now I can explain. It'll be a little easier for me to talk about the feel, uh, creating a feeling. So we've got the two structures in. We're going to do more things to create feeling, but oh, babe. Doesn't that look gorgeous? I There's a little like vent pipe over there, but the main chimney is the top of the roof. I thought that was a cool little touch. So, let me explain a little more now that I have the building in place about what I was doing to create feeling. This is very important in Minecraft because you don't have the ability to do some things. Like this base made it out of diorite and cobblestone. But I wanted it to feel actually like it was bigger on the bottom and smaller on the top, just slightly. And when you build real big, that's easy to do. But when you're building on a smaller scale like this, it's tough to create those subtle angles. So as I was going along, I was just using diorite walls. Those are the best thing uh, for kind of, we would need vertical slabs or vertical trap doors or something like that. Uh, in a stone variant to help get a perfect gradient, but by just flaring it out a little bit in some spots and shrinking it in a little bit on the top, we, we, we create this feel that it does look a little bit bigger on the bottom than it is on the top. Although the whole thing is a circle, I've just you know notched out a little bit there and pulled out a little bit here. So that's creating the feeling of it being a little bit uh, slanted like that. Same with the entryway. So this entrance, I wanted the entrance to feel kind of like almost a trapezoid. Is that a trapezoid or rhombus? Smaller, a uh, rectangle that's smaller on the top and a little wider on the bottom. <laughs> you can tell me. But uh, with the use of the cobbles or the walls, the diorite walls, we're able to create that a little bit. It's a, even showcased a little bit over here as well, maybe even better, that is smaller on the top, and or yeah, smaller on top, a little wider on bottom. So that's kind of the feel we're going for. With the roof, of course, I wanted to kind of mimic a little bit of like a wizard or witch's hat. Uh, so that's just a matter of working out the slope and figuring that out. And I want it to feel a little ruined and wrecked and uh, kind of thrown together and so put some grass and moss and then some different color uh, woods in there. And then, you know, some little supports on the end that are kind of random. That creates the feeling of this not being a pristine build or a pristine uh, structure, but something that kind of has some character. Now for the inside, 
I'm going to get started on the interior. And this is very important because, uh, of course, we'll be seeing this building from a distance, so we want it to look good. But when you go inside, you want it to have a feeling as well. Gotta shriek. So the fun thing about a build like this is you get to kind of go away from standard architectural rules in a house You'd have your entry and you'd have walls and rooms and stuff like that. But with a witch's hut, it's kind of made up. So you have the freedom to build it in a circle and do some cool things. So I'm noticing something about the terrain. The terrain is a little higher over here. So that leads me to feel like, okay, what if we make the whole interior kind of a spiral staircase going up? So this is the highest area. When you walk in, there's a little drop down right here. So you wouldn't there'd be like a guardrail where you couldn't go down. And then the whole thing's just a spiral staircase with little sections to do things uh, around. I think that'll be cool. And then in the center, since we have that fireplace, or that chimney right there, we have to have something here as well that's kind of creating smoke. Uh, so that's kind of the feel I'm going to go for. I want something that's going to be have this cool spiral, and I think it'll give uh, an interesting look to this interior. Okay, I want to stop in the middle of making this because I want to show you... I want to try something together. There, there are easy ways to do things, but, uh, like, if I want to make something that looks like a bubbling cauldron, we have cauldrons in the game, but I want to kind of try to create my own version now if i go like this will that stay there no it won't okay that's fine that's fine that's fine all right let's put a block right here and then we'll get a mine cart to fall down on that okay and i want the mine cart to look like the cauldron and if we it's sitting right on top of the campfire let's get some trap doors uh these ones and that should hold the water in place and if i'm Correct, if we waterlog... Oh, can I reach that? Here, let's just bring that down. If we waterlog this... Yes, it fills it. It makes it look like it's full of water. I think that's cool. Now, I could... I, I kind of like the idea of, like, wood being all over the place down here. So I kind of like that one right there. But we could put this trap door right there as well. But I think that looks cool. That's just a different way to make, like, a, a little bit of a water source. I'm almost done with the interior. There's another cool thing I want to show you. Let's let's ignore everything that I've done so far. I can talk about that in a second. Actually, yeah, 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 yeah. No, 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 no. We just be patient, B dubs. Okay, so got a trap door set up here, and I'm trying to do things as. Uh, let's see, which way do I want to face this? This is fine. This is fine. Okay. We're going to drop that down on a wall. There's a diorite wall down there. And then we are that's what we needed the wither skull for. Now in a witch's hut, you know, the, the, the thing that I wanted to have was a crystal ball. <laughs> and although there are some mods you can use, uh, or, or data packs or something, to be able to use player heads and put stuff on... Uh, you know, the armor stands. I want to do as vanilla as possible. You know, just like, no, com just what can the game allow me to do? There's not many things you can put on uh, as a head, but Wither Skull works. So that kind of looks like, um, you know, a little ancient skull thing or something in this area. I also, in here, I wanted to give the impression of like some jars that were lit with like an orange light. Of course, in vanilla, not many options to put on armor stands for the head. So I just went with carved pumpkin and just got those in there. There's one there and there's one there with a little tunic on. So this one's a little lower. He's sitting on a stone cutter. And then this one's just sitting on regular ground. And I just pissed in, pissed in the glowstone in and then pissed in the honey block in. And make sure the honey block doesn't touch anything else on the sides because it sticks. But yeah, I think that looks pretty cool. Uh, let's see, I gotta get some other... I, I just, when I'm doing these interiors, I'm just trying to think of, like, what workstations look like and uh, what actually I could use in this area. So if I wanted to make, you know, just needed some quick nether warp bang or some quick uh, sugar cane for uh, speed potion, swiftness potion, boom. 
But I think this looks pretty good. Trying to do, you know, some curtains and stuff. Just some fabric laying around and some uh, foliage kind of growing around and stuff. And I think that looks cool. Of course, to set this feel and this mood as well, candles are great. Like, if you can use candles or find an excuse to use candles to create a feel for something, not everything, but in this case with a witch's hut, Candles everywhere is great. I might even do more. Just candles all over the place. So I think that really helps. But here we go. We've got kind of this spiral feel. This is kind of like a working prep area. This is an experimentation area with the jars and stuff. A little compost spot right there. And then our area down here. Now this stuff really isn't useful for brewing. That's what this hut is going to be for over here. I love this hut. But this is more for material selection. So when I'm making my potions, I'm going to have certain things in here. Here will be all my nether wart. Here will be all my uh, glowstone, redstone, all the ingredients you would use to create. I'll get that from here, and then I'll take it over here. So with this, I want to just get a, a unique way to have the brewing stands in, and I've got kind of a good idea for that. All right, we've got both interiors completed now. And I think it's cool. I think it's cool. This room is pretty high function. You know, this is like the shed out back where all the machines are. So, I mean, this isn't like your perfect, this isn't even close to your proof perfect brewing setup. But it'll, you know, it's a little automated. I can put some ingredients in the hopper. So I don't have to put every single one in, you know, uh, but beyond that, it's pretty manual. We'll save like the automatic stuff for when we start building like factories. Uh, I feel like this is good for just manual and starter stuff. I think it looks pretty cool. We get a little bit of machine feel in here with some of the wax copper. And, uh, you know, this is like a book where you write down some recipes. And actually, I probably will use this. Because I forget all the brewing recipes all the time. So that'll be valuable. And they're trying to make like some sconces here with these. And going with blue lights because it feels a little more magical. And it's dimmer. The blue lights are a little bit dimmer than the normal lanterns. So I think that's that looks good. And then this little you know thing to kind of make it look like it's covering that area. I think that looks great. And of course we have this interior done as well. Uh, so now, where are we at? Well, we could call it done. But part of making a masterpiece is to keep going. So we got to keep going. I've laid out a little bit of a stone path here. So from a distance, we want to add to the looks. This is kind of the final touch. Uh, I want to create a path that's going to come out from the main building and wrap around this mountain here and then kind of wrap back. A little bit of like jig jog curvy woo. We also, I, I want to make it feel like it's tucked into the forest a little more. So I want to put, I think a pine tree right there. Like a taller one would be good. And then up front right in here. Put a little bit of a bigger tree to kind of block the sight line just a little bit. Make it feel like it's uh, less out in the open. Let's see. I got to get some bones. This little guy has been following me all over the place while I've been building. Hello! Hey, you wanna... Yeah, oh, quick heal! Wow! Wow, look at the tail wag! This is with the uh, Fresh Animations uh, resource pack. So they get some cool little animations. I love it. Come up here, though. Come up here. Don't sit down there. That's a sad place. Goodness sakes! All right, come here and sit. <gasps> lay down what a good boy oh my goodness i might be in love okay oh that's an adorablest okay i'm gonna get to work on this path and the final touches on terrain i'm also going to tuck in i just thought about this probably right here i'm gonna tuck in like a little hut on the way up that digs into the ground where i can uh, have a little bit of a nether wart farm so I can have a lot of that on hand. Are you ready to go for a run, little guy? Oh, yes. Uh-oh. Terrible timing, B-dubs. Much better morning time. Lovely. Okay, 
Let's go for a little ride. Let's take a look at this baby from a distance and get a feel for it. Uh, when I when I was kind of planning this out, I was thinking a lot, and this is something else I forgot to mention early on, but I was thinking a lot, where am I going to see this from? And I know I'm going to come out of here a lot. I, I, I go this way and I go into here quite a bit. So uh, this is probably one of the angles I'll be seeing it the most from. And I think, this, so this is where I do my planning. You know, I step back and I look and then I, I uh, go in and do some changes and whatnot. But we have that beautiful path. Let me hitch the horse up real quick. And hitched. Lovely. Okay. Well, we, we're also going to probably see it from over here as well. Because I do some bee stuff and there's cows and all that. So I like this angle as well. Although I would like to put one more tree like right there. I just want like this part of the building showing and then the roof poking out. But I think it still looks good. The best angle is from right here. So we've got that swooping path that kind of adds to that uh, mat fantasy, magical feel a little bit. Uh, and then a rock that kind of gives reason for why would this swoop around here. Well, there's a big boulder right there. And it helps you kind of get up that incline. And then we've got our little area. We can go take a look at that in a minute. But boy, oh boy. This is feeling masterpiece level. I love this. But, uh-oh, phone go off. I'll need to figure out a little bit of a path from here as well. How is this going to connect up to that? But that's not necessary immediately. So this is something I go back and forth on quite a bit. The transition block from when you're doing paths. If you just have one with, you know, no, no paths around it, it's pretty dark. Look, there's not much light getting into that. But then here, when it's two by two and then a little wider, it starts to lighten up. So here, this matches well with spruce, spruce slabs. But then here, I decided to go with oak slabs. And I think from a distance, it all looks kind of like the same thing. Here is our little thing. And believe it or not, this is spawn safe. <laughs> that one lichen right there keeps this whole thing spawn safe. So kind of a gross underground. Don't push me in. I'm scary in here. Uh, a gross underground area where I can get uh, tons of nether wart really quickly but then we continue up the path and boom we are here i think this feel that we've been going for is nailed i think i've really really locked it in it would be better at night time certainly uh, at, at night you would definitely get more of that vibe and feel of kind of this spooky uh, witch witch hut area but i think it looks really good we could also not him but we could move a cleric into here as well to kind of be like the wizard or witch or something. Hello. But I'm really happy with this build. I think it turned out really, really cool. Lots of cool atmosphere and stuff. And it's going to serve our purpose for just getting quite a few potions ready uh, for our trip. You know, some slow falling. Maybe I stay up one night and get some phantom membranes, get some sm slow falling for that dragon fight. I think that would be really nice. But I'm loving this place. It's got that feel that I've been going for. And it's helped us progress quite a bit in our world. Not to mention we got this cute little guy. We got a free dog. That might be the best accomplishment of the day. Free dog. I don't know how many times I say this. I probably said this a thousand times already. We're on episode 10 now. But next episode, Dragon, we go to the end. I think we got everything we need. We got the brew stuff. We got tons of blaze powder. Maybe a few more ender pearls. But I think we're ready to rock. And go to the stronghold. Beat the dragon. Get some wings and some shulkers. We'll be rolling then, baby. But ladies and gentlemen, thank you so much for watching. I love you to death. And we'll see you in the next episode.